On the morning of March 5, 2000, at the age of 37, Ferrari was found dead by her husband at her home in Grasse in the Alps Maritimes Department on the French Riviera of Undetermined Causes. The original autopsy determined that she had died of an overdose of antidepressants and tranquilizers. She had been depressed and her death was ruled a suicide. Her parents suspected that her husband was involved, and achieved a second autopsy two years later. This second autopsy found that mechanically induced suffocation could not be ruled out. Her widower was suspected of causing her death was arrested, and spent 13 months in prison. After a second medical analysis, he was finally cleared of the charges in 2007. When Channel 4 broadcast Ferrari's obituary on Eurotrash, it was transmitted with straight dubbing as a mark of respect, Eurotrash's dubbing is normally campy, often playing it for laughs to get around the censorship regulations. In 2005, the station broadcast a documentary about her life, with interviews of her, her husband, her mother and her plastic surgeon.